Hey guys, it's Megan or Mad Little Crafter here and um, long time no video. <laughs> um, as you can tell from the title of this video, I am doing another sketchbook tour. Um, it'll be my last one for a little bit until I finish up the one I'm working in now and also unless you guys want to see my old high school sketchbooks, which I found, which are really embarrassing. Um, and also I'm going to show you a little bit of a shop update of kind of some other things I've added onto my shop instead of my crochet stuff, which I am still doing crocheting. It's just currently I actually have moved. I've moved out of my house, which has been big and scary and terrifying, but also exciting at the same time. And I've moved into an apartment. Here is my sketchbook. Um, I have stickers on the front as always. Uh, I have this one I got from Redbubble. I can't remember the seller. Um, it's Simon from In the Flesh. It says I'm surrounded by idiots. Uh, I'm still, I was still heavily into Adventure Zone. So we got the Pine Guard, we got Extreme Teen Bible and Fantasy Costco. Uh, and then this sticker right here, Lovely Wally and Eve is from Cheery Human Studios. She's an absolute sweetheart. I'll link her everything down below. Um, I have more stickers that ended up falling off because they were like paper stickers, but I taped them on the inside. So we'll get to that in one second, but real quick, I wanted to show you what I have in my shop right now. So some of you might remember my beta, um, my little beta fish ice cream. So I did actually, I have a button maker. So, ooh, you can see my face in that. No, thank you. <laughs> so <laughs> I have my little beta fish buttons. We also have little hand cut stickers that I've been doing currently. I love these. I don't know why I love this one so much. And then also I have acrylic charms. So this is what they look like just on their own. Um, this is one of the ones before I've packaged it. They are double side acrylic charms. I believe I got them one inch. And then um, this is what they look like on a, I have them all being sold on cell phone straps, silver cell phone straps with little um, star charms on them to add a little something. So all of those are in my shop. And also I went a little crazy with the button maker when I got it last year. So bear with me a little bit. But I also have, I made Cuphead and Mugman buttons because you have to have Cuphead and Mugman in your life. I also made these little mushroom buttons. Um, the mushroom buttons and this next one I'm going to show are very limited run. I don't think I'm going to ever print any more of those. It was just more of a, I got a button maker and I had no idea what I was doing. So I just went for it. And then also I wanted to see if I could do it with a photo. So I took um, my Evan Hansen GB and I put him on a button. And then the newest one that I might do a limited run of, I'm not sure, um, is this Venom button. Cause I saw Venom and I had to make him. So he's saying, Andy. And it's got little hearts all around it because venom <laughs> because why not so yeah that's basically the updates for that so let's go ahead and get into the sketchbook tour now that we're four minutes in i'll probably put a timestamp somewhere but anyways um <laughs> i already forgot that i wrote this i have my stickers that fell off of the front which was no dogs on the moon and the bureau of bounce art snacks and then a red bubble sticker um, these are my little Mothman designs. I actually did turn those into stickers. They're on my red bubble and I tried to print some of them out, but so I started this sketchbook on April 27th and I wrote that I officially gave up on it on January 16th. Um, here's my character Jay, some random building, who knows? <laughs> this is my character Kari. Okay. So this is when I did date the bottom for a while. So for 2018, my character Kari inside joke she has no name but i've just been doodling her i don't know why um some animals berry blue jeans um you can tell that i watched greatest showman more kari alphaba i got back into wicked for a while i was just testing some art supplies yeah there is glinda or trying to draw glinda this was in May, I believe, so it was Mermay. So I, I think I posted that one on my Instagram. I can't remember. Um, yeah, more mermaids. This is, I was designing like a wicked 
kind of like line art tattoo. So Glinda's staff and Elphaba's um, broom. I don't know why I couldn't think of what that was. And I have no idea what that is. Uh, this was for, I was going to be in a gallery and I ended up doing a piece for it that I actually really don't like now. Um, it was like my first big digital art piece. But um, it was a superhero themed bubble pop gallery, which that's a great gallery, by the way. Um, the lady that runs it is super sweet and it's like all inclusive and everything. Um, so of course I picked X-Men because I love young Charles Xavier. There's Abigail. Um, I was doing the art snacks challenge, so I was actually thumbnailing for once. I ended up doing this piece right here, which I actually have no idea what that was. And then I rubbed the extra supplies on the paper and doodled on top of it. Yeah, that was the other sketch for it that I ended up doing on a separate piece of paper. Uh, here's my character, Jay. I love that face right there. Don't know why, but it just looks stupid and great. Um, my character, Jay, he does uh, aerial silks and like um, acrobats and stuff like that. But I was just looking up reference poses on Pinterest. We've got a whole page of Abigail and then I was gonna do like a big painting of avocados for literally no reason and I never did that. Wow, more J. I got, I think these were like a pack of Prismacolor things that were on sale at a um, Target so I was just messing with that. You're gonna see a lot of J. Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that out there now. You will. Uh, Charles. Yeah, this was more concepts for the piece that I ended up doing. Um, this was something that my dad wanted me to do that I don't think I ended up doing anything with because I got really, really busy. Jay, uh, just practicing hands. This was when Deadpool 2 came out and I was going to go see it, so that's what all of this was. I looked up post. Wow, those tickets fade so fast. That was my Deadpool 2 ticket. But um, I was doing pose references and they all ended up being Deadpool. There's more J. I did holographic um, tape at the bottom. Abigail. I started drawing horns on a couple people and a, a Gorgon. That was also a uh, Pinterest reference. I looked up a lot of Pinterest. I might, if I skip forward randomly, that means there were pages that I really don't want to show or I really didn't like. Um, I'll probably just skip forward right here. So yeah, if there is a jump cut, that's why. Just doodling with a pen. Um, this was when I got my iPad Pro and I was practicing doodling on it. So all this paper is taped in here. Um, I was watching Jaws. So I was trying to draw while I was watching the movie. I was messing with colored pencils. Oh, there's my character Ronnie. That was actually the first time I ever drew him, which is cool. Um, I, I liked how I managed to do a face shape and I actually drew a hand. Wow, what do you know? Um, SpongeBob. I went off of Pinterest references. That was, oh shoot, which drag queen was that? Um, I don't know why I can't remember what drag queen this was, but I followed her Instagram and it just popped up, so I really quickly sketched it. Another sketch of Jay. <laughs> that was supposed to be me, you can tell, because I put a bunch of tired lines under my eyes. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I posted this for an Art Snacks challenge, Madame Leota. Oh, this was when I watched Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder for the first time. So I have Monty Navarro. And then Venom. This was when Venom was gonna come out. It hadn't been released yet. I started practicing some buildings off of Pinterest references. An entire page of J. Another Monty. And I actually still like this drawing. I used a comic book cover as a reference. It's a Bobby or a Iceman. 
more Monty Navarro. I was going through, um, I wanted to do animatics for a little bit, so I went through a bunch of Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder songs that I wanted to do. Um, my uh, Four Horsemen characters all have like people names and they have, um, their cousins are the Seven Deadly Sins, so I was brainstorming names as they came to me. I started reading um, Lore Olympus and it's amazing. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm always a sucker for Greek mythology. So Hades and Persephone is like my favorite myth. So I drew Persephone over here, similar to their style. Warren, because I grabbed a Coke randomly out of the fridge when it was the um, share a Coke event. And that's my character's name. That's War's name. So <laughs> Abigail, I have a lot of fun whenever I do things like this. I don't know why, but whenever I scribble or put like a bunch of paint on a page and then I end up just drawing on top of it. Some attempts at figure drawing, more attempts at figure drawing. I drew a castle. Oh yeah, this was when, um, oh like that was when I named my character Remy. Um, you might see him. I can't remember if I drew him in this book or not. Yeah, see I tried to rough animatic for poison in my pocket and then um, my friend Juan took that over and did an amazing job. I don't know if he's ever gonna post it anywhere but he did a great job. I kind of helped him with like like directing it a little bit because I had specific scenes that like I saw but he just took it and went with it. Um, I printed out the lyrics in here so I could continue working on my sketchbook which I never did. More kind of concept figuring out Kari. Monty again. Um, I was trying to do more for a time period. I still want to do this and it's actually in my new sketchbook of, um, you know, observational drawing what I see and stuff. I was briefly gonna try and design the characters for my portfolio, but my portfolio went into a completely different direction. Um, umbrellas. <laughs> my friends will understand this. <laughs> it's a massive inside joke, but this is where the umbrellas are, guys. And then um, that was Remy. He's one of my other characters. He's a stable boy in Versailles uh, during the French Revolution. Uh, loop. I drew this building um, waiting for my parents at Disneyland. So this is one of the ones on Buena Vista Street in California Adventure. Jay again. These were intensely quick. <laughs> Another Monty page. Um, I read Song of Achilles. Oh, good God. Okay, here's the Detroit Become Human stuff, which is a garbage game, by the way. Garbage. I love it, but it's garbage. And then um, Incredibles 2 came out. I don't know why, but I like these a little bit because they're just crappy little doodles. That one was fun too. I just, I got, I have a ton of plants now, like a ton, a ton of plants and they were all on my desk. So I just grabbed a brush pen and started doodling. Receipt paper, Connor, more of that dude with the horns, no idea. Abigail, and a dino attempt from memory. A very plain page with just highlighter. Connor, Connor again. I had watercolors, so I just, I don't know. I like this, don't like this at all. Simon. More attempts. Simon has a weird face, okay? I hate it so much and I don't know where my style is going, so I'm just doing whatever. Lavender. These were in class, I think. I don't know what, I really don't like where a lot of this is. More Detroit Become Human. I think this is where, I watched Rodel Dorado again. I think this is where I started getting frustrated 
That's not mine. God, I wish that was mine. That's a uh, Adri's. She left it at work and I stole it and I taped it in here because she just drew venom. That was completely referenced off of somebody else. So that, I don't remember who, but that was referenced off of a screenshot. Abigail as seen from above, because she's got a weird shape. Yeah, you can tell when I really lost the motivation for this sketchbook. I do like this one though. I forgot this one was in here. Um, this is Taco, but it was based off of my cosplay outfit that I did for him. Um, I didn't put the, the bottles on here, but yeah, I actually really like that. Ronnie, or attempt at Ronnie. There's a lot of my characters in here that I actually haven't talked about that much. I mean, y'all have seen Jay and Abigail like 10 million times already. I don't know why that's my new favorite thing to do. It's just write shit like really tiny <laughs> next to whenever I do like wide eyes. I actually really was proud of this. Um, it was acrylic ink and I painted it and it's my pepperonia plant, which is outside right now in the apartment. But um, I painted it and then I just did really spotty line art over it. <laughs> I kept um, sending videos of raccoons because I follow this raccoon Twitter account to my group chat. And every time someone saw a raccoon, they would send it to me now. So that was a really crappy doodle of me with a bunch of really fat raccoons like <laughs> everywhere oh, okay so this was when my portfolio sort of started i knew um this is my character emery uh can you tell i like drawing curly hair don't know what would give that away but i started designing him a lot um i did most of it digitally because i had to print it out and stuff so this was just when i started doodling him more Monty Navarro. Another Poison in My Pockets, my favorite song, can you tell? I ended up doing that for an Inktober piece. Um, one of the three or four that I did last year. Um, a lot of receipt tape doodles. I don't work at Target anymore, but um, there was, <laughs> there's like a whole book that I have that's just receipt tape um, taped in there. Emery, supposed to be Philip, didn't work. My other character for my portfolio. I was trying to figure out Quinn's hair, my other character. And then I saw Venom. <laughs> Itty. Yeah, I was referencing mouths and stuff because of Venom. Yeah. I forgot about this dude. I have no idea what he is who he is or why he is, but I doodled him on receipt tape, what do you know? And then I just, I don't know why I like him. I should draw him again. <gasps> Good Omens is coming out this year, by the by, um, on Amazon Prime. So excited. There's my button. Yes. I was kind of figuring out a design for that. There's more in the sketchbook than I thought there was. Um, Jay, I was trying to figure out his actual like skin tone because he's a he's a mutant. He's a transparent, more or less. Um, his powers revolve around manipulating light waves, so he's literally very shiny. Um, he glows, I guess would be the way to, to describe it best. Um, his hair, I usually draw it pinkish, but it's also like holographic I guess would be I'm like how does one describe this his mutant name is flashbang does that help at all um he literally glows and can manipulate light so my son Emery again can you tell I like drawing wavy hair we went to not scary farm and they had a new area that was um like swamp Victorian cult like I guess and this was the promo image so I referenced that um my granddad bought me a lotto ticket when it was at the like super million million whatever it was I didn't win obviously but 
I think this is, nope, it's not the last thing. Wow. Um, Berry Blue Jeans, again, because I love him so much. And then, really garbage shootles. Chinese money plant. A thing from school, a debate that I don't want to get into. <laughs> Jay, I don't like that drawing. And then, oh, this is, yeah, that's the last thing, is I was testing uh, Crayola markers that I had to see if I could layer them at all, because they're water-based. And no, uh, you cannot. So I kind of just gave up on this one because, I don't know. Um, while I said I wanted to finish sketchbooks more, I, I'd say that this much being left is not bad. I kind of really burned out with this one, and I was getting sick of seeing the same sketchbook over and over and over. So... And it had already been from April 27th to January, and I hadn't really doodled in it that much because school was insanity. So, yeah, that's a, that's my sketchbook tour. I'm hoping to be back with more videos on this channel just because after, I think I graduate about mid-March, then I'll finally have time, which will be fantastic. I have been working on crocheting things and doing something else right now, a big commission and then a couple other things. So I'm hoping to update my shop soon. I want to finish my uh, little fish ice cream series because I have a blowfish that I want to do that was in one of my sketchbooks a long time ago. A blowfish and um, a shark. And then I was going to think of some others. So that way I have at least, I want to say five maybe to round out the series. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.